Man, this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got V. Back to Shannon. Right, Shannon was that after? So, yeah, here we go. so Shannon, Shannon's from Valdosta, Georgia. Okay. Stream South Georgia, right before you get to Florida. Yeah. Shannon grew up on a dirt road. Shannon was fascinated with movies. Mm-hmm. If you've been to, ever been to our office, mm-hmm. Shannon is has a real horrible obsession with Star Wars. Yeah. If you saw, yeah. I mean, yeah. if whatever you saw in that office, that ain't but about 15% of the shit he has. Yeah. And so he wanted to make movies yeah. when he was a kid. So his parents bought him the old VHS, you know, deal. He's trying to get kids that lived around him and there in his neighborhood and his cousin stuff to film movies. Mm-hmm. And he's filming stuff. And then he's like, shit, I got to have music. So he started making music. Because he wanted to have music in his movies, yep. that that was why he started doing production. Yeah. So Shannon, they were he was actually in a a rap group himself. Okay. Uh, called Dosta Crew, so Val Dosta Dosta Crew. Yeah. And they were on Ichabon. Oh wow! Way 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 back. Yeah. And and uh, a guy used to manage uh, Shannon and them named David Kidd, who's Jermaine's cousin. Mm-hmm. And they introed that like that, and then Jermaine and I were already working together. And at the time, things had really now things were really blown. So Shannon was the first staff producer that Jermaine ever hired. Okay, fun fact. Hey, Shannon yeah. Hatch's first staff producer Jermaine Dupree ever hired. Not not any kind of big people yeah. you ever heard of Shannon. And Shannon sold over forty million records as a producer. So people need to understand that. Was too. that with, with, through yeah Jermaine? Usher TLC? Yeah. That's not that was before. Any of average Joe shit ever happened. So he had already had production credits on those kind of records. Yes, Shannon did. Working okay. with Jermaine. Hell yeah! Okay. So Running labels, there. doing yeah. remixes for Jermaine, doing all kind of stuff. So yeah. he, that's where Shannon and I met was through Jermaine. Gotcha. Okay. And and then it ties together. Then. Yeah, yeah. And then he yeah. was like, maybe y'all could do some work together. I mean, you know, all of a sudden it was like maybe the two white guys should do, you know. Mm-hmm. And Shannon and I, you know, we although one about Austin and me and Adam. Still, our upbringing was very much the same. Georgia boys. Right, right. and just yeah. country kids who yeah. like sports and music and two weird white kids that like hip-hop. And yeah. And so we started, I, I started going down to Valdosta to his little studio and making music. And, and, and that was the beginning of our friendship. Mm-hmm. Fast forward here now, later, Average Joe's is our, is our company. Uh, yeah. I mean, we, it's, it's crazy what it's been to truly... Like a lot of people talk about independent, nobody is more independent than we are. Mm-hmm. I don't care what they say, what if somebody has an affiliation some sort of way with a distribution, with a major or something, we don't. Yeah. We created every one of our deals ourselves. Right. All our deals with iTunes, everybody is direct deals that Shannon and that we put together ourselves. Mm-hmm. Never manufactured ourselves. Yeah. All of that. So, when, 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 when I came with the PBR thing, obviously backing up a little bit, we weren't, I was golf pro then. <laughs> I mean, Shannon you had was, done the music stuff. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I was a golf pro. I was still yeah. riding and everything, and Shannon was doing his, running his, running, he ran a Vander Holyfield's label for a while. He was in Atlanta, full production media company, doing all that kind of stuff, producing, blah, 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 whatever, whoop, whoop, all that stuff. And then when this came out, he's like, this is cool. We could do something with this. And then the PBR, when Randy said he wanted it, was like, well, what do we, how do we, what do we do here? This was just yeah. uncharted territory. Because obviously, I mean, Shannon named Andy Bubba Sparks. Shannon would put all that deal together, I mean, with, with Jimmy Iovine and mm-hmm. Timberland for Bubba. And Shannon produced half of that first record with Timberland. So, okay, so when Bubba was on the podcast, um, he was saying something about, Dark Days, Bright Nights was a project, and then when he got with Timbaland, I guess it, they turned it into what they... So half of it was... That yeah, was half, Shannon. yeah, yeah, half of okay. it was there. Okay. And so, you know, things just progressed, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, what are we going... What could we do with this? And I was like, I don't know. I mean, and we know everybody in the music industry. Mm-hmm. We didn't know anybody in the country music industry. Right. And so when we start talking about starting a label, it's like, well, let's go out to L.A., go into Warner Brothers' office. We know everybody. Yeah. Rap office, rock office, alternative, every office. Where's the country? Oh, they're in Nashville. Well, well, can you hook us up with them? We don't know. And we were like, wait, what? Y'all don't yeah. even know? I'm like, no. 
we know the pop guy. We know this guy. Yeah. We don't. We don't know those we guys. It's like okay, this might be harder than we thought. So we, literally, Shannon and I just came to Nashville. We didn't know anybody. We just came to Nashville and started hanging out mm-hmm. and meeting people. Yeah, and playing the, some of the music for them. And people were like, "Well, we love this. Holy shit! What do we do with this?" Yeah. And what stuff was it? Was it like that's the, ride through the country record? Okay, that, okay. that music, and everybody's like, "We love it," but we're terrified. Of, like, yeah. you're a three hundred and thirty pound, thirty six year old height dude. Like, fuck, are you doing yeah. this? Ain't gonna work. You're doing, <laughs> like, you're, you're out of your mind. Of, this ain't gonna work. And you're even doing my, a bone crusher, right? Yeah. Even my family yeah. and friends, they're like, "What are you doing, dude?" Yeah. I mean, I had two kids at the day. Like, I'm literally like, I literally heads all the bets. Like I said, I'm all in. And everybody's like, you're out of your mind. Yeah. And honestly, it was probably stupid. It probably was. Yeah. But I I just, I don't know. I just couldn't make it go away. And so I went to one of my good friends, Zach, who's the CEO of Zaxby's, who founded Zaxby's, and said, man, we want to, we got, and he's like, I love this. What do we do with it? And I was like, we got to start a record label. And me and Shannon ain't got no money. <laughs> yeah. Not to start a record label. I mean, we were paying yeah. our bills, eating and everything. It was like, we were, I mean. You got to have a good little Like, to you got to, you know. Yeah. The whole thing is, you want to make a small fortune in the music business, start with a large fortune. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah. we didn't know. And yeah. Zach was like, and Zach didn't even know Shannon. I introduced him. I'm like, look, I'm, I'm going to be the artist. He's going to run the label. You're going to be the money. And that's how we started. And we, I, I was watching I can't, uh, the dodgeball. And I'm like, Average Joe's. That's just who we are. We some Average Joe's. You know what's crazy? We were watching Dodgeball. Swear to God. A couple weeks ago. And we were like, that's crazy. They're Love movies. I was, like, yeah, I was like, let's just be average. Let's see who we are. We just just some regular dude, Average Joe's. And so Zach goes, how much, what's it going to take for y'all to do to give it a legit, lot? not like a, you know, everybody's like, I got a record label. It's like, nah, like to do a legit, try to make it. Shannon is genius with all the numbers. He'd ran labels. He came up with the number, and Zach said, okay. Yeah. So off we went. Now, Zach couldn't help us at all except give us the money. He's running Zaxby's. This is the guy that... that this that is the fa- founder of Zaxby's, Zaxby's, the CEO, Zaxby's, yeah. who's still the, the, the CEO and the chairman of Zaxby's. Yeah. He just said, okay. He, th- he threw a lot it. of trust. I mean, he knew yeah. me. He didn't know Shannon, and he said, okay, here, here's some money to, to start it. And he met you. How did you meet? Zach? I mean, he's from Georgia. He's okay, from okay, Zach. Okay. He's he's from there. He's from gotcha. where we're from. Yeah. And uh, what I'm gathering so far, we live in the wrong state. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But Shout it, out it, Colt, it, man. it just uh, and and off it went. And Shannon yeah. says a lot of times he goes, you know, we thought we didn't know what we were doing. Yes, it was crazy. Yes, Colt was being a very different artist than really anybody had seen at the time. But we thought. We're gonna have the best Shannon and Colt excellent adventure movie. We thought we're yeah. two we're best friends. Yeah. At least we'll go have it. We'll try it. And if and if the shit works, yeah. If it don't, we tried. We tried it, yeah. And so we did. And here we are. I met with you know, all these years later and So so average Joe's y'all y'all started that in two thousand Seven, seven, end of okay. 2006, 2007, yeah. So the Colt Ford name, how'd you, how'd you come up with the Colt Ford name? My ex-wife said it. Okay. Yeah. And it, She it, just got, I met Jason Brown, she's like, I said, that ain't, that's not cool. I mean, and it's funny, in the last 10, 50 years now, it's like, cool to just be your yeah. name. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. everybody had stage names, fake names, and me coming from doing, you know, wanting to do so much, rap, you know, it was always about a name or a yeah. moniker or whatever, and she goes, what about Colt Ford? And I'm like, man, that's some American... So American shit right there, yeah. and I call. He's like, "That's it. I fucking love it." And yeah. there's people that don't even know my real name. They just think yeah. it's always been that. Yeah, so. That's your name, yeah.